So I cleaned out the neighbor's uh, garage and I kind of got a few, uh, let's say, uh, hand-me-downs. So I got this coffee maker. Always wanted a coffee maker down at the shop and I got this sweet couch. Who doesn't want a couch where you get to sit down here, admire, maybe look through an owner's manual and just enjoy my beautiful scenery here? Let's get to it. <music> So today, local land is coming up for sale. Uh, the old retirement, basically, auction we went to, he did have some land that didn't sell. I didn't know at that time, actually. Uh, that's coming up for sale here really quick. So I talked to basically my bank and my land realtor, and they are going to, they said I could go look at it right away. And it's actually going to close out today, so I need to do that right away. I did pick up this old pressure washer, so my neighbor also used to pressure wash houses, uh, equipment, and uh, basically driveways and everything, so I thought this would be great just to utilize on the farm. It has a ton of hose, and I'm always seeing, like, I always want to pressure wash my stuff. I need to park that somewhere. I think I'm just going to park it right over here. Right back there probably is a good spot to park it. Does anybody think I need a drop hitch? So I got it all the way down to the bottom hole right there, but, uh, yeah, I got a, it's a little bit, you know, uh, uneven. Yep, just a tad. I'll back this up right there. I hope, anyways. Oh, 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 not cool. Yeah, can't back this up straight, that's for sure. Well, so to drive this level, I would just need another foot extension. That's not unusual, is it, for a drop hitch? Wow, yeah, I'm gonna have to mess with this hitch and possibly get it turned around, or maybe I could just put it on the back of my three-wheeler. Pull it with the three-wheeler. Probably be better. So you guys will probably see a few things that have changed, especially if you watch my channel all the time, or the series. So you guys are probably noticing a few things that may have changed. You guys, I'm sure, you can put it down in the comments, all the stuff that I missed. But I had a mod conflict. Basically, the a cool mod that was in 17, the Straw Harvest add-on mod, uh, it comes with a whole bunch of options. But that really messed up my game. To the point, I had to pull my uh, backup save game from before I put the mod into this save game and pull it out of that. So I lost basically... 10 days off of this series so I tried catching it all the way up but some of the stuff I just missed you guys will have to let me know I would like to see a comment too have you guys had any like major mod conflicts that really bugged out your save game I'd like to if you have a story you can just put down in the comments and I would like to know if console players out there do you ever have like mod conflicts that really mess up your game I'm just curious because, you know, us PC, especially me, that has 900 uh, mods, I get a mod conflict every once in a while. This was by far the worst I've had in a year, but uh, I got it solved. It was just painful. Trust me, very, very painful, like six hours painful. I'm going to get on the world's biggest laptop for the fattest fingers possible. I'm going to see if... Uh, Let's check this land out, see how nice it is. So it looks like this is a small little piece of land, has a nice little pond in it, little fishing pond, that looks nice. Has a old, uh, basically rundown building, something like that. Got some old rotten bales, just, uh, not all this grassland is included, but some of it is. Looks like it has a lot of trees in it, but I thought maybe I could put some fence around this place and just use it as a pasture I was hoping at least Ooh, it does look I don't know exactly how we are going to get into this place that might be an issue don't know we will see though alright so we figured it out so I basically I'm going to try to make a trip so I'm trying to think what exactly should I bring just to check it out? 
I think honestly I'll bring a three wheeler and hmm, them rocks. I don't know. Will our sassy massy over here have it in it? Will it have the torque to basically uh, lift them rocks? Maybe we can just put a rope behind it and uh, it could get it done. I don't know. We'll see. Don't know. Sassy Massey might not be able to do it. Uh, we'll have to put the forks on it. Mm, I'm gonna get a coffee made and uh, think about this here quickly. So, beans, we gotta take the Sassy Massey. I think I'm gonna take the the Chevy here. I know, I've been driving. My neighbor's just like, why don't you drive your uh, Toyota? And uh, I was like, yeah, first off, I have a hard time saying it. And second off, uh, it just doesn't pull the equipment around as good as my Denali and my Chevy. And I'm trying to keep the hours or that I'm trying to keep the miles off of my Denali. Just one, because it's a diesel. And two, uh, this is my work truck. And usually all I'm doing is working most of the time. So I'll probably take this. I'm going to get the hitch on there. So the guy is supposed to have a lot of hidden type of uh, hidden trucks and old farm machinery he just kept there. Uh, basically, a lot of it isn't running. They said it all comes as is. It'll be uh, we'll have to purchase the land and the equipment on it. Uh, that's the deal anyway. So I'm gonna go check it out, see what type of deal we can do. I'm surprised he didn't put some of it on the auction, but. Uh, he did uh, end up retired and basically he's hospitalized now so I don't think his family really wanted to deal too much with it so they kind of made it as easy as possible and just uh, had the auctioneers and uh, yeah, the auctioneers probably took advantage of his uh, hospitalization a little bit. Let's get this trailer hitched up here. Ooh, I would like to put the three-wheeler on here. This is going to be entertaining. Hmm. Yeah, let's see if this is possible or not. All right, so uh, yeah, let's just wing it, and try to go up. This is extremely dangerous. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. All right, that did not work so much. So I'm gonna kick it back here. We'll see if we can do it the second time. Oh, 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 we got it, we got it, we got it. There we go. That was not graceful, and I do not recommend doing that at home, by any means. Ooh, now we have a little issue. Uh, let's see here. Wow, this is tight in here. Tight. Alright, got that all unhitched. Now I need to drag this over, hopefully. Holy cow, them are the heaviest forks I've ever seen. They are... Ugh. Oh. I think my back is gonna hurt tonight. Finally. Felt trapped in there. So tight quarters. I, I really should have just moved the harvester and it probably made it all easier. I hope this, uh, massy, this little sassy, can get it all done, but we'll see. Alright. I uh, tipped the front end of the three-wheeler up just so I could have a little bit more room. Uh, yeah, can we get on? Oh, there we go. All right, we are loaded up. I got to kick these up here quickly and pin them in. Uh, got a little bit of squat, not much. It's actually running fairly level. I'm a little bit high in the front, but oh well. Made famous by the millennial farmer. Let's do a montage.
little bit lost here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Which way? Which way do we go? I'm gonna t say lefty. Sure. Go across these train tracks. Yep. Yeah. I have no idea where we're at. I know it's probably going to be on the right hand side of this road. I just don't know where this to turn in. They said it's really hard to see from the roadway. Like, extremely hard. You got to know where you're going. Probably should have this thing called G phone GPS, but uh, why when uh, your cell service doesn't really, it's uh, intermittent around here, so. It's gotta be up here somewhere. I hope I didn't pass it already. Hope so. Oh, what, 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 what? What's that? Ooh, I think that's it. Oh, I think that is it. Is anybody behind us? No, I don't believe anybody's behind us. Alright, yeah, let's take this old journey down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's a ditch there. Take that nice and easy. Yep, are you going to make it? Very carefully. Hmm. Oh yeah, this... What the heck do we have in there? See all that? Oh man. These rocks are huge. Oh no. Oh, I don't think our sassy massy is going to get it done. I don't, I don't know why I even bought the Sassy Massey. Uh, maybe I could freaking fit through here with the, the three-wheeler. I guess this is one heck of a deterrent for people. Maybe this is the reason why they didn't bring these up to the auction. I don't know. I mean, this guy obviously didn't want people looking around. He has a fence all the way around. This, oh man, this goes all the way up into the trees there. Ooh, wow. This is, uh... Yeah, he definitely had a little barricade going here. Maybe I can tie a chain around them, uh, rocks and hopefully pull them out? I don't know. I don't even think it's worth putting a loader down at it. I mean, I think I might break something. Maybe... We could just push it? I wish I just had a bucket. Maybe I could push them. Probably just sliding them. Let's see, give it gas. Oh, uh, yeah. That one's out of the way. I don't know if we could push this one. Let's see. Oh, man. Maybe I just need to take a running start at it. This might break something on here. Push it. Push. Yeah, I, I need to kind of get at an angle and just kind of run start it and push it off. Uh, oh, you're not going where I want you to go. Don't go over there. Come on. Finally. Got that old thing uh, done for. Let's go down. And these look like, ooh, a couple old school trucks here. Oh, man. Look at this. This is a uh, Chevy. This is a Chevy Apache. Is this a prior 60s model? Not sure. Let's get this trampoline off of it. Put this over to the side over here. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. Come all the way from California. Wow. White walls. Well, white wall rims. Not really white wall tires there. Patchy, huh? It's also a fleet side. Oh man, look at that tail. Oh, and a wood uh, bed, wooden bed over there with wooden rails on it. I wouldn't mind having this all fixed up just for, uh, you know, this is probably not a truck you're going to drive every day or really find a use for, but it, it is just a nice looking truck. The white wall tires, maybe I can just basically get it running and sell it off or just use it... Uh, 
use it for odd jobs around the farm. I kind of have enough, plenty of trucks, but I, I, you know me, I, I just acquire trucks like it's going out of style. I don't know why, but I always do. Oh, oh wow. Oh, an old John Deere Model A. Oh, man, I, I had one of these before, and I ended up getting rid of it, so this is a narrow front. Oh, wow. So it does have a belt drive on it. Oh, this would be nice to have another one. I would just want to have one of these running really good just so I could, uh, there's really not much of a use for it, to be honest. Oh, it does have a three-point hitch. You don't find a lot of these with a three-point hitch in a hydraulic NPTO. Ooh. Ooh. That, this could actually have some use to it. I don't know. Let's see if this old girl would, uh, turn over. Yeah, nope. Does actually turn over though, so it's not the motor isn't seized, which is a good thing. Oh, do we have a Ford? What is this? Uh, F six hundred. So this is just a single axle semi. Yeah, move this table out of the way. Uh, uh, yeah, get that out of the way of this thing. Check this thing out. Looks like there's two of them actually. There's one with a box on it, and there's one just a uh, single axle. They both are single axles. Actually, fairly good interior in this thing. Really good interior, to be honest. Ah, uh, the battery's dead, so don't know. I mean, everything in here looks pretty good. I don't know for sure if it's the 426 or the 361 cubic inch uh, V8. We'll have to see it. I guess I would like a 426 just because it's awesome, but uh, it does have new mud flaps, so it might have been running here recently. That's a good sign there. So this just, I don't know, this looks maybe like it's a, basically a farm-made crossover here. I'm just guessing because of the way the frame looks or anything, but uh Ooh, it does have a brake line set up for it and everything, so that might be a good sign there. Well, this actually has some battery power to it. Will it run? Oh, oh yeah. Pop the hood. It looks like this is a 361. I don't know. I mean, this would be really nice for just an old, maybe uh, throw some old rocks in there, a rock truck or uh, basically a dump truck. Don't know if we'd actually use it. I mean, really nowadays it probably doesn't even pay to have use this as a grain truck. Maybe if you're just hauling a little bit of feed here and there, it wouldn't be bad, but it's running. I mean, you don't find many of them running. I, my guess is the value of these two is somewhere under four to 3,000. Oh, this is a 2510 here diesel another narrow front you don't really see a lot of these narrow fronts with weights on front nothing like this anyways this is a suitcase weights in the front of this thing uh oh, oh chrome is that a straight pipe well i bet that thing really purrs but that thing really purrs with a straight pipe on there wow i bet that the neighbors probably really like that Oh, it looks like it has uh, a couple uh, hydraulic hookups too. PTO, a three-point hitch. Wow, yeah, that, that's pretty nice. Pretty clean tractor here. I don't know if it'll uh, start up. Uh, let's see. Uh, battery cables. If the battery cables are disconnected here, we could have a chance. Where the heck is the battery box on this thing? I don't even know where the battery box is. Check down there and see how the fuel looks up here. So I'm guessing... Hmm, this is tough. Don't know the price of this. I'm guessing about maybe 7000 if this thing actually runs and turns over. Yeah, maybe. Maybe more. Maybe up to ten, just because it looks pretty clean and restored. Anybody want to sit on this couch? That looks like it has a few diseases in it. Uh, yeah, stay away from that. Probably is uh, home to a whole colony of rats and mice. They probably have a heyday in there. That's probably their uh, recreation or hangout club area. What? 
Oh man, that thing scared the living bejesus out of me. Why would you have a scarecrow inside your building there? Whoo! Oh man, I really thought that was somebody there at first. Yeah, yeah, I have to stop a little bit and sit down. Oh, no, I was going to sit down on that couch. Don't want to do that. Uh, uh. Whew. Yeah, who, who puts a scarecrow inside their building? Man, maybe they just want... Got an old, uh, let's see, we can, we got an old ladder here if we could set that up. Alright, walk up here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we don't have nothing up here up top, that's for sure. Oh, we got some garbage. Ooh, yeah, here you go. You guys want some old britches that's probably been hanging out in the, in the weather for a while? Yeah, look at them old britches. They look clean. I guess that's it. I might get the three-wheeler down just to look around a little bit here. So I don't have to walk around everywhere and just drive around the property really quick. Looks like we have a nice little area here. A nice little grass field. We definitely might get, be able to get a crop off this, maybe. Oh, did I see something through the trees over there? What is this in the trees? Let's go look. Oh, look at this. A little old Gale Mixall. I believe this is my, the land. Don't know. I don't see the indication mark, but I'm guessing this is probably. Yeah, this thing looks probably rusted out. It does have a scale on it, which is kind of odd. They didn't take that off, but. These things are hard to find nowadays, so it might be worth uh, at least parting out or basically using, fixing up and using it. You never know. Anything? Uh, I see something. It's some paint. It's definitely not weed color. A little pull behind, a uh, little real wake here. Not real wheel wake. I don't know exactly what they call this, but it is basically ground driven uh, rake. Little uh, twines on it. I don't know. These things will last basically forever. See the push through this brush here. So basically they have a drive on the wheels and it turns the rake. Don't need a PTO shaft or anything. Just basically you could change this all by reaching back behind the open station cab and Make a little adjustments there on the height right there. Got to do it all by hand. The old way. Before the hydraulics. Got something up in the weed row here. The brush. Looks like the brush grew all around this whole thing. I see uh, basically a bed right here. Fairly good hitch. Hitch kind of tells me this thing might have been drivable. Oh. Is this a Model A? No, a Model AA? I, think, I believe it's a Ford Model AA. Uh, what did they put in these? I think a little inline four. Just a small little thing. Oh, it looks like I don't... Oh, if you look in there, you can see. I don't... I think the motor was taken out. But I mean, these, these things are valuable. I, I have no idea the what this thing is worth don't see a lot of rust or anything I mean the cab usually the cab is completely toasted my old grandpa that since passed away used to have a kit Model A uh, it's basically it wasn't a real Model A but it was a kit basically he built it up himself and made everything on it he used to take me driving around on it and I thought that was the coolest thing ever I remember one time we were driving around with my old grandpa and two police officers pulled us over only so they could see the Model A. That's the only reason. So we thought, you know, Grandpa thought that he had a blinker out or something. He wasn't registered properly or something. But nope, they just wanted to show it. I remember playing on the playground while uh, the, him and the police officers talked for like two hours. Pretty cool experience. But uh, this kind of really reminds me of my Grandpa just driving around 
driving around in his model cars. He, he built a few model cars, that, a uh, Ford Cobra and a Model A. He was great at tinkering and make building stuff. He built it all in his basement and then reassembled it in his garage. He also had the Guinness World of World Records for the smallest airplane built. Made it out of a little Volkswagen uh, engine there for a little while. Grandpas are always good. It's just unfortunate that, you know, most of the time we have to outlive them, but you guys have to let me know any stories you got of good old grandpa experiences. You know, grandpas are the best just because they get to raise us only for a short amount of periods, so they get all the enjoyment out of raising us kids. They don't have to live with all of our uh, wreck housing and, you know, problem making and everything, so. Most experiences with grandpas are always the positive. I wonder where this pass goes. Looks like a little path through the woods here. What do we got? A little, little path right through the woods here. I don't know what the heck. What do we got going up? Ooh, I see something. Something's going through the tree. What is this? What is this? <gasps> oh, is this a boat? Oh man, somebody hit a boat over here in the tree line. I wonder if they forgot this was even here. Looks like an old Yamaha 40 horse on it. and even has a little tiller motor on it. Looks like an old, uh, basically, I believe these are old crappie boats, but it's an old aluminum craft here. Ooh, double axle trailer. And it does have a little electric uh, trolling motor on it. Oh, yep, yeah, this is built up. This is a crappie machine here. Has a little, uh, all your pole holders right there, and everyone always sits up front there. Don't know exactly what that thing is. Oh, that's the weight. It's a little weight there, and a little uh, foot control trolling motor. That looks like a motor guide. Yep. Little uh, 17 foot. That's a weird place to put a uh, basically a license plate. Who the heck can see that? Look at that. That's like uh, <laughs> no, no, you have to be passing them just to see it, and you're not even gonna see it. Yeah, I don't think that really counts there, buddy. That's definitely trailer license. Can't does that say South Dakota? In South Dakota, yeah, that's the weirdest license plate holder I've ever seen in between two double axles. And I love fishing. Man, do I love fishing. Looks like they spray painted the front little windshield there too. Wouldn't mind being able to go and fish for some little bass, crappie. Man, favorite time, thing to do. So pretty sure this is considered wow I bet they completely forgot about that that thing is way too new unless it has a bad hole in it or something and that motors completely shot but you think they would have still gutted it all and sold it the motors for parts or something I bet they forgot this was even over here Man. gonna have to put some new seats on it and everything but uh I bet the I bet that trolling motor works I bet that I bet we could get the, both of them uh, two cycle Yamahas working. I believe they're two cycles. I'm not for sure though. Man, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna offer for this thing. I really have to make sure I get this piece of land now. That's kind of sealed the deal for me. So uh, I think I'm gonna offer 200,000 for the whole land. Uh, I think that's a pretty flat offer, but we'll see if we actually get this deal or not. Alright, let's try to ramp this front tire up really quick. Uh oh, I got a little bit crazy there. Whew! Yeah. Whew! I almost flipped over backwards. Way crazy, yeah. I'll pull this back end out of here. There we go. Pull that out. That looks a lot better. Whew, man, I almost killed myself right there. Gotta be careful with that. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna purchase this whole area here. I, I just, I, I would really like that Model AA. Just reminds me of my grandpa. 
I don't know. I mean, the, the this uh, John Deere Model A would be nice. The the Ford trucks would be nice just to use around. Truck, old, old truck bed. I thought I already moved this. Move that over there. Get that off that paint. This would be nice. I'd probably end up uh, just uh, fixing it up and uh, selling it. I don't know. I mean, the 2510, i sure I can find a use for that. Maybe just something old. Oh, man. Things scare me again. Stupid scarecrow. Jeez, this scarecrow's crazy. We'll see if we win this land purchase. Don't know if we will. I'm really hoping I do. But uh, thank you all for watching. And I will see you later over here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe.